Hello, Xcourse fans! Welcome back to our channel. In the last video, we introduced the method of TPMS sensor learning process. Today, we'll continue to talk about another method that is simpler and faster: copying. To put it simply, copying is to copy the ID number of the original sensors to the new sensors. Then, these new sensors can directly replace the original ones and work normally after being stored on the vehicle without programming. If you have the original sensor, you can find the ID number on the shell. Then tap on Program, select Manual Creation, enter the original sensor ID number, tap on OK to complete the copy. If the ID number can't be found on the shell or the ID number is vague, you can use Max Pro to activate the original sensors to get the ID numbers first. Then tap on Program to copy the ID numbers. If the original sensor is out of power and doesn't respond to activation, you need to disassemble it and replace its battery. Then activate it to obtain the ID number for copying. It'll be more convenient if the vehicle supports OBD communication. Let's use the Toyota Corolla behind me for a demonstration. Also need to use this universal sensor XTPMS and TPMS function of Keytool Max Pro. First, we connect the vehicle OBD port to Max Pro, and we enter TPS function and search for the desired option by OEM number or vehicle models. Find the Toyota Corolla. Choose the correct year. Since this vehicle supports OBD communication, the interface has four sections: Active, Diagnostics, Program, and Learn. If the vehicle doesn't support OBD communication, there is no Diagnostics section. Well, tap on OBD Read ID after reading. Tap on Program and select OBD Copy. Put in a new sensor and start programming. After success, copy the next one until all four sensors are copied in turn. Finally, install these new sensors to the vehicle, and they'll work normally. Okay, sensor replication is that easy. Let us know if you have any comments or questions about XTPMS, and we'll see you in our next video.